Good morning. It's Friday. Yes, we're going into a weekend, and that's kind of good and bad because for my husband, uh, it means his vacation is almost over. <laughs> But I really hope that everybody has a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. And right now, I'm going to run in the car. My husband's waiting for me because we've got to run to the store. And I'll talk to you later on today. I wanted to show you my chives that I put the flower blossoms in white wine vinegar and let it sit in a cool, dark cabinet for two weeks and look at that pink color isn't that pretty but yeah I neglected to pick up cheesecloth again so I am using a coffee filter and all I do actually is put it in my little canning funnel there and hopefully it worked with the dandelion so let's hope it will work with, <laughs> with the chives It does take a little bit longer when it is with a coffee filter. I'm going to go ahead and dump the rest of these in here because I am going to go ahead and let this just continue draining and get as much goodness out of there as I can. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done draining. And this is what our chai blossom vinegar looks like. Look at that pink color. Isn't that pretty? I did take a taste of it. And for me, it seems like it might be a little bit strong. But um, I'm just going to leave it the way it is and see. Because probably when I add it to some different types of oils and come up with some sort of wonderful concoction of a salad dressing that it just might not be too strong but if it is i just dilute it with a little bit of a uh, white wine vinegar right anyways i just thought that that was just that was just really pretty so i thought maybe you'd like to give that a try because truly you can't get much simple I'll talk to you in a little while. We came to J.C. Penney's since it's a total washout outside and decided to find a suit for my husband. So that's what we've been doing. This was the second store, but this store we had success. And a dear friend from church that is like a mother to my husband and I came with us. Well, we just dropped off our friend at her home. And this lady is the sweetest lady that you could ever imagine. We have known her for a long time. And when my husband first moved up north because he's from Texas his mother had come up to visit us and she had turned to our friend her name is Dottie and said I give you permission to be his second mom and Dottie has just always been there for us just like a mom and then like two years later Rick's mom died and then she really really stepped up. It's just been wonderful. And I'll talk to you folks in a little while. Today was a very busy day. It wasn't a difficult day. It was just a busy day. And usually I get all of my editing and my uh, devotions done long before this because it is 8 p.m. <laughs> yeah. And I am just now trying to get things finished up. But today, I would like to read from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 1. 
He tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those that have young. You know, when we had goats, I enjoyed spending time with them and they look forward to seeing me too. As I would approach their pasture and their goat house, they would become excited and start to run towards the gate, often making it difficult for me to open the gate because they were pressing themselves into the gate, so excited for me to come in and be with them. You know, there are many illustrations in the Bible that speak of God's desire for intimacy with mankind. Yet this verse is one of my favorite visual images because God uses an illustration of a loving shepherd to demonstrate how he feels about you and me. Picture what God is saying through this verse with the eyes of your heart. He tends to his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart and gently leads those that have young. Can't you see the loving shepherd gently picking up his little lambs in his strong arms? And imagine the shepherd's face as he lovingly gazes down into the eyes of each lamb as they're held close to his chest. What a picture of intimacy and safety. There is no other place that these little lambs would rather be. Their shepherd cares for them and has vowed to lay down his life for their protection. He has truly won their hearts. God wants us to know that this is how he wants to relate to you and I. He is our shepherd and he wants to pick us up in his big strong arms and hold us tightly. Are you willing to be a little lamb who is willing to be picked up and held? Because if you are, that is where you will find a place of safety and rest. And with that, I want to remind you, life happens. Let's enjoy it and ask the Father to hold you in his big, strong arms and to hold you so closely that you can hear the beating of his heart and feel the warmth and safety of your Lord's embrace. I'll talk to you Monday. God bless.